The next example, so um, we're going to buy a CD that costs $14. It's not on sale, even though the, I mean, that's better. It's on sale. It has 10% sales tax. So uh, let's see. So sales tax. Okay, so then what are we looking for? Total amount that we're going to end up paying, right? Before we figure out the total amount, we need to know how much we're going to have to pay for sales tax. So our, the total due or the cost is going to be $14 times it by the sales tax rate, which is 10%. Again, changes to decimal, so this is 14, and then this is 1, 2, that's point. 10 or 0 0.1, 0, 0. You, you can just drop the 0 if you want. Um, 0, 0, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 1 is 1, put zeros in those spaces, add them, so 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 4 is 4, 0 plus 0 is 0, 140, how many numbers do I have behind decimal points? I have two. So from here, I'm going to go one, two. So it's going to be 1.40, and that's money. So $1.40 is how much I have to pay in addition to my uh, $14 of $14 I have to pay for the CD. So total due, total is going to be the $14 plus the dollar 40. 14 is the same thing as 14.00 plus 1.40. When you add numbers with decimal points, you have to make sure the decimal points are lined up. The two are lined up like this. Okay? And then all the rest of the numbers are aligned also. So this is 0. This is 4. Bring down the decimal point. 4 plus 1 is 5. 1. Bring it down. So how much am I paying? $15.40. Okay. Okay, so that's how much I have to pay for a $14 CD um, if I have to pay for sales tax, okay? So that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educator.com.